My wife wanted to buy one of these, and I said, no way, since I have a 3D printer, so let's make it instead. First things first, import an image, because we are going to use this as a reference. Then add the circle and scale it down until it's as big as Mickey Mouse's ears. Press tab for edit mode and duplicate the circle. This way we get both of the ears and we are going to make the other parts too with this method. So stay in edit mode and duplicate those circles. Don't forget to adjust the vertices based on the reference image. By the way, there are multiple ways to make this hat. This is only one of them. We won't need these vertices anymore, so press X, select vertices, delete them, and then connect those lonely vertices by pressing F. For the mouse, select one of the vertices, then extrude it multiple times on this pattern. Also, don't forget to connect the vertices. Add the subdivision surface modifier and set the viewport to 3. If you're done with your adjustings, apply this modifier. Next, select these edge loops then press F to fill them. Now select all and extrude all the vertices on the Z axis. Add the solidify modifier and set the mode to complex and also set your thickness and offset. If you look closely you can see there are differences between the heights. You can fix this by selecting these vertices and scale all of them down to zero on the z-axis. With this method you can level all the selected. For the future 3D print, these separated parts should be connected in some way. So I'm adding a cube and gonna scale it down a bit. The edges of the cube should fit with the rim, that's why for a more accurate result you should add loop cuts. In case you want to make a grip for it, I would suggest to start the torus. The inner part of the head should get lowered, because we don't want to get the cookie in multiple pieces. So select the rim and then invert the selection by pressing Ctrl plus I and just move down the selective parts a bit. Only one thing left, check the model if it's ready for 3D printing. Check this short if you want to turn this tool on. And that's about it. I'm gonna export this model and start heating my printer's bed. <laughs> 